Hi everyone, this is a reading with me for you. This is for all star signs. If you are here, hello and welcome. I feel like it is a sign in itself that there are messages for you. Also wanted to mention as well that if you wanted to win a free reading with me, check out the description box below since I do giveaways every single month. If you wanted to purchase any personal services with me, they are always listed down below and on my website, shopmoonlightguidance.com. There's personal tarot readings with me, rituals to manifest different areas of your life, which lots of people have seen results with. Um, there's things like the protection ritual, marriage ritual, love ritual, um, black magic removal. There's also uh, rituals for success, for healing, for you know prayers as well. And there's also the intention items which thousands of people have seen results with there's bracelets for hundreds of different intentions they are handmade meditated with and staged thousands of five-star reviews at the bottom of my website for those and also on etsy as well because the items are on there everything's always linked down below but there's also necklaces prayer bead necklaces there's candles which are plant-based and safety tested um which actually matches my just a cute little plug here Ta-da! it matches my jumper um and also we've got um, embroidered cards, stage bundles, candles, teas, and so much more. Okay, it's all on there. All right, so let's start with your reading. Let's see, let's go with these cards. Okay, let's see what's coming through here for you. Oh, oh, commitment. Look at this, you've got the Hierophant to begin. Now, that's beautiful because this is marriage, this is commitment, this is a lifelong relationship that stems for the long term, and it will give you so much happiness. I mean, we really see here an epiphany if you're feeling like, you know what, this is my person. This is my person, this is really a sense of knowing, okay? The Ace of Swords is all about victory. I mean, victory and commitment, can we get more excited than that? That is beautiful, and that's what I see happening for you. Now, also, the Ace of Swords represents someone that is quite loyal, okay? This person is loyal, but they're also financially very stable as well they are extremely hard working sometimes they can be a little bit stubborn but that's in regards to their work area as well they always like to be a bit of a perfectionist from what i am seeing but they are extremely loyal they are very faithful they have incredible family values okay they respect their family they respect other people's families they respect other people's values they respect people and you know what when someone has respect for other people and they have respect within themselves I think that's a very, very powerful combination because you know what? They will respect you. And that is very, very good. So we've also got the Wheel of Fortune. They are successful, but they are not prideful. Okay, they can be a little bit stubborn sometimes, but they are not prideful. They are stubborn because they are a perfectionist, okay? They like things to be in order. They like things to look good. They like to, um, not because of ego, but more so because they like things to be in order. That, you know, organization is a very, very important thing for this person. And uh, they really, you know, really like that. We've also got here as well, the King of Wands. And this is really beautiful. This is extremely powerful because the King of Wands is such a lovely energy, which is about, you know, someone taking action, making things work, pursuing you, you not having to run after them every three seconds and trying to figure out whether they even like you or not. This is a healthy healthy relationship this is a beautiful relationship this is one where they take action and you're like okay yeah sure it's not you not doing anything you know what i mean like even if you were to take action they would take action towards you as well and really express their their happiness towards you their joy towards you their fulfillment towards you you know there's a real sense here of all of that happening we've got here the queen of cups Beautiful. I mean, they really seem to be very emotionally open. They seem to appreciate your vulnerability, your sensitivity. They like the fact that you are so deep and you are deeper than most. Um, you know, it's a rare thing for someone to open up, for someone to be emotional, for someone to share all of that. And they will do that with you and you will do that with them. This person is successful. This person is loyal. This person is emotionally available and emotionally open. I mean, can we... Can we appreciate that can we look at that okay very strong water in their chart very very strong water okay pisces cancer scorpio very strong water there's this a real sense of empathy and understanding they have a lot of empathy i think that also what's come out here as well is that in their family they've had struggles with money they've had struggles with work they've had struggles with stability um not specifically relationships. I mean, yes, they could have had some struggles with relationships, but mainly with money, there's been struggle. And I think that that's something that nev they never take for granted. They always like to help others. They like to um, do things like donations, charity. They don't like to waste things, but they are also um, very mindful, very, very, very mindful. And I think to a degree, spiritually quite open. And, and they are not the kind of person that's gonna like look at you and be like, mm you believe in spirituality, you know, they're going to be quite open because there are people out there that, 
you know, they're not really into like the stars and the planets and knowing that kind of stuff and they, they don't really care, but they're not going to dismiss the things that you you like, the, the views and the values that you share and the values that you have inside of you. They're going to be quite open. I think they'll actually be quite a spiritual person. Like they will believe in the stars and they will believe that, you know, things happen. So your compatibility is on a much deeper level than just, oh, we're attracted to each other and, oh, that person's successful and I like that, you know. It's much, much deeper than that because you are also, you know, going to be successful. From what I see here, like they will support you in the work that you do. They work very hard, okay? They are not going to rip you down for certain things that you want to do. They are very caring, very generous and very understanding. We also have here as well the Six of Wands, okay? They are going to come towards you. This is quite a strong, like... um soulmate energy like they really just soul recognition you know this person you feel this person you feel excited um, around this person and uh, again taking action strong fire as well okay so fire and water is quite powerful here got quite a bit of fire aries leo sagittarius pisces cancer scorpio We've also got taurus as well um fire and water is is a very powerful combination as a whole because it signifies balance and that's beautiful okay in any relationship when you can have a fire and water combination um it is very beautiful because it is that ability to take action but also to empathize and it doesn't mean that okay if you haven't got fire and water in your chart and the other person hasn't as well it doesn't mean that that can't happen it's just that when it comes out in a tarot reading and i can sense that energy for you and the other person regardless of what's happening in your birth chart it's a very very good and very powerful thing for sure okay four of pentacles get another tarot deck and just see let's just confirm some messages here four of pentacles means good amount of stability here um in terms of the relationship but also in regards to money oh three of swords you know i feel like there is someone here okay that reflects and i feel like there is a past person here that is going to see you in this very happy relationship and they are going to reflect and feel really bad that you are moving on and moving forward with your life it's almost like they won't believe that you're moving on because they feel like you've been wrapped around their finger for so long. So I feel like this past person is just going to try and, uh, you know, they'll try and contact you. They will feel bad about the fact that you're moving on. They will reflect a lot on things. They will feel quite heartbroken from what I am seeing here, which is taking a bit of a turn. But this past person, you know, is, is just not going to be happy about the fact that they will then feel rejected by you. Okay. And look, Emperor. The Empress come out again, which clearly goes to show that they will try and convince you um, that they are the right person for you and that you should actually be with them. And they're going to look at the person that is this new soulmate that comes in and be really jealous of this person. OK, very, very jealous. And they're going to try and cause some kind of havoc by basically coming towards you and showing interest towards you or trying to show your new soulmate that actually, do you know what? I'm in the picture and I was once tied to you. So you should be with me and, and trying to make that other that new soulmate person quite jealous and insecure, which is really interesting. But I think that that person is by far very, very clever and is going to realize what is going on in this situation because they're quite like pragmatic. They're quite mature. They, they realize certain things. They will realize that this person's just being really immature and trying to get into your head. And uh, you will realize that as well. And they will trust you because they are loyal and they understand that things like this will happen. And they will realize, you know, that this person has taken you for a ride before and they're just trying to you know, get their ego under control and they're trying to get your attention because they feel like their ego has been hurt because you've chosen this new person and then the old person is just kind of trying to cause havoc and, you know, your soulmate's like, yeah, yeah, that's crazy and really understanding you and realizing that this stuff like this can happen. Oh my gosh, 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 gosh. You know, past person's not having the fact that you're moving forward with someone really incredible and then this, uh, yeah, this past person's going to compare themselves to this new person from what I see here. Um, I mean, listen, if this is your person that I am describing, you know, you want this kind of healthy, beautiful relationship, then comment down below the affirmation, I will marry this person, because trust me, it seems to me like the new person coming through is much more for your highest good. And I definitely feel here as well that you will have so much more happiness and joy in the future. Okay, so this is your reading. Um, if you found that this resonated with you, let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Check out the description box below for information on personal services, free reading giveaway, intention items, all that good stuff. Feel free to check it out. I post short readings on, um, what is it? I post short readings on... TikTok and Instagram. There we go. TikTok and Instagram uh, every single day. If you want to follow me in there, all the links are down below in the description box. Okay, so feel free to check those out. I'll see you all very soon and take care, everyone. Bye.